So here is the example. Um, it's a pretty straightforward application. All we are going to do is uh, select a photo from your mobile and then watch it upload to Cloudinary, which is a freemium service uh, that allows you to host images. Uh, the label that you see will change to the URL of the image or uh, and if there is an error, it will show the error. So I'll click on upload photo and it should ask us to select an image from the phone. So I'm going to go quickly go to gallery and then go to my image and it'll show a preview and then now you'll see the label change. So this is the URL of the image that just got uploaded. So let's see how you can learn to build this application in this tutorial. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a few months since I've uploaded and now I'm back uh, with a set of videos that I've planned out. Uh, the first one is as you've probably seen in the demo already. It's a very simple application where I'm going to show you how to make an image uploading application. And then you can connect this to uh, one of my previous tutorial that you may have already seen which is how to send data to Google Sheets. So in case you want to build a form where you want users to upload their photo along with their profile this uh, example will come in really handy so let's get started uh, with the with building the application it's uh, just going to be very simple the tool that we are going to use for this tutorial is thunkable and once you go to thunkable i'm assuming you already have an account if not please create an account it's a great tool to build uh, cross platform applications that work on the browser in ios or on android so once you log in, you will uh, end up in a page uh, that is something like this. And uh, from here, what we are going to do is uh, quickly create a project, create a new app. I'm going to name it image uploader. And then once you have the project, uh, we just need three elements. One is the upload button. Then the second one is the label and also we are going to show the preview of the image that the user is uploading. So let's quickly uh, drag and drop uh, the image. So the module that we are going to use in this uh, particular example is MediaDB. So MediaDB is a, is a module that allows you to connect your Cloudinary account. What is Cloudinary? Cloudinary is a premium uh, tool that allows you to host images. So you need an account on Cloudinary and the API key so for you to upload images and get a URL for the image. I'm just going to use my existing account uh, on Cloudinary. The API key and the secret that you see will not be uh, active by the time you see this because I'm going to deactivate those. Uh, and then once you have an account, you can uh, see the key and secret here and the cloud name here. So after we've added MediaDB, we have three parameters that we need to fill out, which is the cloud name. I'm going to enter the cloud name. Uh, then I need the API key. I'm going to copy it to clipboard, API key. Then I'm going to copy this one to clipboard, the secret. And that's it. We are done with this. And now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to quickly add an image. So once, once the user selects an image, uh, let's show it back to the user saying this is the image that you've uploaded. So in the components, I'm going to quickly search for image, drag and drop it here. Then we also need a label. So I'm going to search a label and paste it under this. And then we need a button, uh, which upon clicking is when the image gets uploaded to Cloudinary. So I'm going to click the button and drag and drop it right below the label. Right. I'm going to rename the button to upload button just for readability. What you edit here is for you to know which component you're particularly using. I'm going to uh, call this image preview and then on the label, I'm going to change this to, um, yeah, let's, let's probably call it label because we are going to show uh, the error also on the same text and also success URL also on the same text. I'm just going to remove uh, the preview text so that it doesn't appear here. And on button, I'm going to change the text to upload image and uh, along with that now we need um, nothing else actually so i'm going to quickly move to blocks and once the user clicks upload image we need to be able to open the um, 
phone gallery right so for that what we are going to do is so we are going to add one more um, component that is the photo library photo library allows you to open the users uh, phone based gallery it can be ios it can be uh, android it will open the gallery and allow the user to upload if it is on the desktop that the user is using this application it will allow him to open the standard upload uh, uh, model or the pop-up right so the first step is in blocks i'm going to quickly create the blocks and then at the end of creating the blocks i'll quickly explain the steps That's it. That's how simple the blocks are going to look for this particular example. What I'm going to, what I'm uh, doing here is when the user clicks on upload button, uh, we are first calling the photo library, which allows uh, the user to select a photo from the device he is accessing this application from. And then, if the user did not cancel after opening the gallery, and if there is no error, then the next step that I'm doing is setting the image preview. With the image that the user has selected and then i'm directly calling the media db uh, component to upload the image to cloudinary and then if there is no error i am setting the label to the media url which is the uh, return parameter after the upload is successful and if there is an error you get a error output so i'm setting the label to error and that's it and now post this you can uh, add the google sheet integration and send this to Google Sheet or if you have a another API that you want to send this to, you can add the web API component and send the image URL back to uh, the web API that you want to store the data in. And also this allows you to also create a simple application where you, if you want users to upload images and then create like an Instagram where you just use the URLs to display instead of uploading uh, those images onto your own servers, but just an external server which has multiple features like CDN and all of that covered. You can also do some similar apps like that. And if you are creating an internal app where you just want to create uh, uh, profiles of people that use your app, this can be a great example and a great way to do that. And uh, also Cloudinary has a freemium model, so you don't have to worry about paying uh, from the beginning itself, but you can try their services out they have limitations on the number of images and the stories that you can use but uh, the free plan is good enough for you to get started and going so i hope you uh, like this video and the content of it and also the idea behind this particular example uh, do like and also comment down below in case you have any questions or if you want any any other topics uh, for me to cover on thunkable and uh, yeah do subscribe and before i leave uh, there's one important thing that I missed out in the block, which I just noticed that is I'm not passing the photo to the media DB, uh, the cloudinary module. So you just have to select the photo from here and add it here. Uh, lucky that I caught it before you guys try and uh, find an issue on that one. But yes, I think that, yeah, that should cover it. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.